and your girl don't have time <laughs> to be going out and her feet being on 10. I would. welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Delena and you are watching brown girl Lux. today i am sharing my entire gucci collection with you all i did tell you last month that i would bring this video and i'm just wanting to live up to my promises and commitment so we're not going to waste a ton of time because y'all know i got a lot of gucci so let's go ahead and get into it i am going to start with what i have um I would say all my smaller items first, then we'll get into shoes and bags. So the one item I have from Gucci is a fragrance. The first item, fragrance. I only have one fragrance and it is Gucci Bloom. Y'all, there's not a lot to say about this, but if you love floral fragrances, you are gonna love this. This is very pretty. It definitely is a scent that if someone smells this on you, they're gonna be like, dang, what is she wearing? It smells so bomb, so pretty. There are several different versions of versions of the Gucci Bloom line. So if this one doesn't speak to you, I know my girl Close Corner, she did a video on all like the other ones at one point or another on her channel. I'll try to link it below. And I promise you, you will find one you love. The original speaks to me. I love this one. Um, this is one I would say I always pull out for like brunch occasions. I love this for a good brunch or a good like daytime date. So if you're looking for a new scent for the remainder of this summer, you know, heading into fall when you're going out for your lunches, your brunches, breakfast, this is a good one and you definitely should consider it. The next thing that I only have one of is sunglasses. So I have showed these to you all before. These are my Gucci shades. They have that red and green detail on the back. Y'all, these are so cute. The only reason why I don't wear these a ton <laughs> is because they are so dark <laughs> and they make everything look extremely dark. So if you need a good pair of black shades for like vacation where you know you're gonna be somewhere bright and sunny, these are gonna be perfect. I did check Sunglass Hut and I did find them. I think they're 395, 375. Somewhere in that price range. Now, I got these when Southwest was doing a deal, or Southwest, <laughs> Sunglass Hut. When Sunglass Hut was doing a deal, and I believe I got like 75 bucks off. I think it was like, if you spend over $300, you save $75 on a fragrance. Yeah, that's what it was. Or not on a fragrance, on sunglasses. So I got 75 bucks off these. I love them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love the casing. The case is really pretty green with pink on the inside. Y'all know I love that. There's your information, a cute cloth. And then I also like this little green Gucci bag these come in. So if you have been debating on grabbing a pair of Gucci shades, I will say that to me, the packaging, the casing, everything, the quality, I've had these for years. I've probably had these since either 2017 or 2018. Nothing's wrong with them. I do pull them out just more so at random, not all the time, but they're a great pair of shades and I love having these in my collection. So now we're gonna get into some SLGs. I have four. And hopefully I'm not missing anything, but I have four SLGs. Let's just start with the smallest one, my Gucci card holder. Y'all have heard about this card holder in several videos, several videos. I don't have to say much, but just the quality is amazing. This is a beautiful card holder. I love how wide it opens. I mean, even all the different slots. It has two on the front, two on the back, that one in the middle. This is super cute. I always say when I look at this, I'm like, man, why didn't I get this in that like baby blue color? I would have loved to have this in another color before it just went away. This was a seasonal color. I don't think you can find this in stores anymore. You may look up in a department store and you can find it, but I think to find this, you may have to go the pre-loved route. It is so cute. I love this. I'm taking a little break from it just because I've carried it so much. And instead of using this, I have kind of moved on to my card case wallet. You all have seen me unbox this on my channel. My husband got me this as just like a little surprise gift to congratulate me on getting a promotion at work a couple months back. 
Y'all, this has been my go-to, as y'all can see. It is stuffed. <laughs> it is in route, in use, all of that stuff. So this is one that I really, really love. Now, you all know I did have it in the chevron leather. I still have it, of course, in this like dusty mauve color. I would say that these are not too far off. You can see this is just a little bit more pink, but they're very similar. This has the gold detail as well same style you know what i mean like still has a slot for your coin slot for your money this one does have that gg detail on the back i love this i got this around the time that i got my small gucci marmont bag and i just wanted to have both i love them and i think that this one i will probably end up gifting to like my mom um just because i love this one so much more that I probably won't use this one and I feel like she may end up, end up loving this one. So I probably will gift this to her because I feel like it's just gonna collect dusk with me. I may use it a couple more times just to see if I'll miss it. But y'all, I don't think I will. I mean, they're literally the exact same wallets, just different styles. And y'all know this style is my favorite. The last little small SLG I have from Gucci is my Gucci cosmetic case. I talked about this a lot on my channel. I don't really have anything in here right now, but this is perfect. Now, I would say this is even more perfect if you are a woman that likes more medium to large size handbags. Y'all know I'm a mini lover, so that's why I recently grabbed that little Prada pouch y'all saw in my Prada unboxing. That's why I grabbed that one because this is only going to work in like my Palm Springs mini, some of my bigger handbags, a lot of my other bags this is not going to fit. So I said, you know what, it's time for me to get a second option and I'm really glad I did. This is still gonna be used. I love this. I love the uh, green interior. This is just something that to me, I'm not gonna get rid of or anything like that. It's just that I needed something that's gonna accommodate small handbags. But when I'm carrying my larger handbags, this one is going to be my go-to. Now, we are going to go ahead and get into shoes and bags, which I know that is the most exciting part for you all. <laughs> Starting with slides, I have two pairs of Gucci slides. I have my Gucci Bloom slides. These are the first pair of Gucci shoes that I got in my collection or added to my collection. I love these. These are about $360. And in my opinion, these are my favorite <laughs> Gucci shoes that I own. I love these. And even though they're my favorite and I've had them the longest, they don't look like it. They look in amazing condition. They look super duper good. These are always gonna be a good summer go-to slide. So if you're trying to decide, decide what slides you want for the summer, that's not too, too expensive. These are about $360. I think you will love these. I love that they're not full rubber, so you get that canvas detail up there, and then of course the rubber on the bottom. So it's a little bit more worth your money, I would say, because they're not full rubber. Then I do have a pair of full rubber slides with that Gucci detail. These are the all black ones. These, my husband and I got matching. He got these for us right before we went on our first like international trip. And I would say that these are super cute. Um, I don't know if I just don't grab them as much because they're just black, which is crazy because y'all know I love black. I don't know what it is about these. I just don't grab them as much, but I will say these scratch up and tear up a lot faster, probably because they're fully rubber. This particular shoe <laughs> looks very, very beat up. You probably can't tell on camera, but they're, they're pretty beat up. But I would keep them just because, again, these are something that I probably will grab more and more down the road and to me you can't really go wrong with the slide y'all so let's get into some of my gucci mermont shoes and in this case they're both sandals so the first pair is my gucci mermont sandals these are the flat sandals y'all i've told you before that these are absolutely gorgeous they're super duper cute the comfort level again because it's that hard bottom they're not just the most comfortable sandals that i own from like a luxury brand but they're super duper cute. I don't know if I've wore these this summer or not. I wore them in Miami, but I don't know. I haven't pulled these out. But you know what? Honestly, you guys, I have not really been out where I wore flat sandals lately. Like every time I've been going out, I wear a heel. So 
So I haven't really pulled for these much this summer, but they're a classic style shoe. They're not going out of style. I think they're about $520. If you have been thinking about these, girl, just go ahead and grab them. I know they have several different color options. They're going to be a shoe that you will have in your collection forever. So don't feel bad if a season goes by and you don't wear them. They're going to be good to go for next year. Then y'all saw these next shoes <laughs> in my Luxury Hill collection video. If you have not watched that video, y'all go watch that video. That video was really funny just because I kind of got into why some of these heels are not worn as much as they are. And I told y'all before, these Gucci Marmont heels, they are collecting dust because they are steep. And your girl don't have time <laughs> to be going out and her feet being on 10. I will definitely wear these for like dinners, things like that. I think these are gonna be really cute with a nice pair of jeans. I'll probably pull them out this fall and you know, have to get an Instagram picture in them to show that, hey, I wore them y'all. But they're just a little steep. So these are not the type of shoes I'm wearing if I don't have a seat. If I have a seat, I'll pull these out. If I don't have a seat, girl, these are staying right here at the house. But super duper cute. If you are someone that are just really, really good about wearing heels, you probably would have no issues with these. I believe they're about $770 now. I think I got them a little under 700 and I mean, they're worth it because again, they're a shoe that's not really gonna go out of style. So y'all know me, maybe like down the road, I'll be able to get a little more comfortable in these, maybe once I've broken them in a bit, but for now, they're gonna keep collecting a little bit of dust. <laughs> so the final pair of Gucci shoes we have are my Gucci rubber mule slides these i picked up back in i want to say that was like april mayish when i got these y'all these would be so cute with my outfit today i'm just wearing like a white crop top jean jacket bike shorts this would be so cute with my outfit today if i was actually going somewhere these are super duper cute i know these are not everyone's favorite this is definitely giving like old school vibes so if you're not into that and you don't like these, it's okay. <laughs> I think everyone kind of feels differently about these. I would say for me, this is not a shoe I would go get several more pairs. I feel like I got the color that I really, really like and I don't need a bunch of these because of the style of them. You know, they're not like a super classic style that yes, this is a style that came out before, but I feel like this may go out of style in a couple of summers. So in my opinion, these are super cute but they're not anything that you have to feel like you have to race to grab. Cute, but you know, it worth the money. 300, I think 360 bucks for these, somewhere in that price point. That's not bad at all. But again, these may be a shoe <laughs> that in a year or so may not even be in style anymore. So get your wearers out of them this summer, this fall, however long you can wear them, depending on where you live and the weather get your wares out of them just in case but yes they're super cute i love the white i need to just pull these out with my uh, louis vuitton spring street bag i think that would just be so cute so probably will do it even if i don't go anywhere just take a picture in that outfit <laughs> and put it on my instagram because i think that's just gonna be cute but yeah y'all so this is my last pair of gucci shoes now y'all, it was two items that I was almost gonna forget about before we working our way into the handbags. So let me just go over these really, really quickly. So the first thing is a pair of Gucci tights. I have never worn these tights. Um, I got these, I wanna say at least two years ago. Um, showing them like this, they're not gonna really look like much, but y'all know these are the, the GG tights. So y'all can see kind of there what they look like. These I've had for a while. I did buy mine in a size large. If you can find these ladies size down, this is what a large is looking like, okay? Um, <laughs> even when I first got these, when I had more weight on me, they were still super duper roomy. They were coming like right up under my bra. <laughs> so if you do get your hands on some of these, size down, y'all know I'm about a 12, 14. And if you get these, you want them to be a little tighter so the GGs are almost a little more stretched so you can really see them. So if they're too big, then they're gonna look more just like a black tight, right? Instead of like, like a black fishnet. So in my opinion, if you want these, go ahead and grab a size down. Like I feel like this size could fit 
like a plus size 16, 18, and maybe even a little bigger, just depending on like what your leg setup is like. These have a ton of different room. I know that these don't, I haven't seen them come back on like Gucci's website recently, but I have seen like other sites like Essence and places like that get these. So if you're still wanting them, I think I paid 120 for them. If you're still wanting them, I do think they're worth the money. I just haven't pulled them out because I was waiting on, you know how you just want to have that one just look? That's what I was waiting on. I wanted to have just a really, really nice look to go with them. Um, I think a year after I got mine, I bought my best friend some for Valentine's Day. And she's worn them a couple of times already. And I'm just over here like, girl, I ain't pulled mine out yet. But this fall, I'm going to pull these out probably with like a nice skirt. Something really cute or a nice short, like a leather short, something like that. I'm pulling these out this year. And they did come in a really cute little box. So if you're wanting to buy these as a gift, just know it's going to come packaged pretty cute. I mean, well, if you buy from like a retailer, I'm not sure. But when I bought these, I got them from the Gucci website and they came packaged super duper cute. So love those. Then lastly, the last Gucci accessory, I think, before we get to bags, is my Gucci belt. Now y'all, y'all know how I feel about this Gucci belt, okay? Y'all know I don't be really wearing this. This is something else I could see me selling, gifting, or something like that because y'all, I'm just not a belt girl and I didn't think about that before wanting this. I remember this being on my list for a while and I kept telling my husband like, no, don't get that off my list. Don't get that. I'm not really thinking about it. But it's just the black and this is the thicker belt. Um, I think this is the thickest one before that super large one. I really, really like this. It's just, I'm not a belt wearing girl. Um, I think there may be an outfit or two this fall, winter that may call for me to wear this. But right now I'm just like, eh, I, I don't have to have this. This is something I could totally get rid of and I probably would not think about it. But also I feel like sometimes you get rid of stuff and then you're like, dang, I could have used that. So that's why I'm just keeping it. But yes, this is my Gucci belt. So now we can finally move into the handbags. So my first bag is my Gucci mini Marmont in the black color. And y'all, this is actually my first Gucci handbag. This is one when I tell y'all, I wore this bag to death <laughs> when I first got it. I did not give this bag a rest because it was just perfect. It was my first black luxury handbag. This is a great piece. This bag is still very popular. The price has just gone up. I think I got this for 980 bucks. I think it's 12, 1300 now. So if you want a really good mini camera bag, this is going to be a great option for you. I just think that this is easy to go to if someone says we're going to an amusement park, we're going to a picnic, anything like that, this bag is gonna work. I will say that you can wear this as a nighttime handbag just depending on how dressy you are. If you're super duper dressy, this may not work. But if you're in a cute jeans, crop top, heel, cute black simple dress, something like that, this bag will work for you. Anything a little more dressed up, you're gonna need something else. But I do really, really like this bag. I think it's a great piece. Um, as far as the price point, I think the price point is still really good. The quality, for as much as I've carried this, looks great. Like I've told you before, the only damage I've ever even had is just a little discoloration because this is like suede on the inside. But other than that, there's no damage. This is a super soft leather and you don't see any scratches. This is a bomb bag and this is definitely one of my favorite Gucci handbags. The next Gucci handbag, this is one that's more seasonal for me. So this is something I would grab more so spring, summer, or vacation. This is the Gucci Ophidia transparent bag in this neon green, neon yellow, whichever you say. Y'all, this bag is perfect for the summer. Haven't pulled this out this summer. Haven't worn a ton of bright colors this summer, so nothing really spoke to me to say, hey, grab that bag, you know, from the back. It really didn't have, I didn't have a need for it, but had I went on like a tropical vacation, just having this like clear bag, this is something I would have pulled out. But nothing like that came up this summer for me. So therefore, I just let it kind of relax and chill. Y'all know I got this bag for more than half off. I think it was originally priced at $895. I did get this bag for, 
with tax, it was under $400. So I got this bag for a really, really great deal off Nordstrom's website. It was during like May, whenever they kind of start like the luxury sales, that's when I got this bag. Super duper cute. I don't regret it at all. Just because to me, when you get a bag for that price point, even if you only carry once a year, it's something that I feel like I'll be able to carry for a long time. It kind of has that classic Gucci feel with like the red and green detail. So I don't think it would be something that would go out of style. I think women have carried clear bags for years. And to me, with everything now, like if I go to a concert, you know, they don't want you to bring in handbags. This is something I can use. So in my opinion, this is something that was worth the money. It's just not going to be pulled all the time because of the type of bag that it is. Now, my favorite <laughs> Gucci handbag, my top one, has to be my Gucci Dionysus handbag. This bag, to me, is my favorite out of all four Gucci handbags that I have. So this one, I definitely didn't get this first or anything like that. I think this might be, the green one is the latest one. So this is probably the third Gucci bag I picked up. Y'all, I love this bag. The Gucci Dionysus print is gorgeous. All of the detail. And let me just pull the strap out. Okay, so we got that strap pulled out. And y'all, this is a great crossbody bag. This is a wallet on chain style bag. So you do have your card slots in the back. You do have some openings here for things. This little zip pocket. And then you have more card slots in the front. Now, I don't know who has... 16, 17, 18 cards to put in a bag, but there's plenty card slots in this bag. This bag, I believe is about 14, 50. The prices I'll have listed in the description box, y'all, but I can't remember. I know I got this for about 12, 50, but I believe it's gone up either 100 or 200 dollars. It's a great piece. If you want something from the Dionysus collection and you don't want to go the route and spend upwards of 2,000 dollars, this one's gonna work for you. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in seeing a Gucci wallet on chain comparison to my Chanel wallet on chain. I say that because <laughs> this bag is less than half the price of the Chanel wallet on chain. And really, besides the name, they're the same thing. So if you are curious to seeing a comparison of my Chanel wallet on chain and this bag, leave a comment down below and I will film that video for you all. So y'all, we have made it to our final Gucci piece. Now, in this case, <laughs> I did not save the best for last. Not that I don't like this bag, not that I don't think it's pretty. Y'all know this bag is just a little bigger <laughs> than I would like for a camera style bag. I think it's gorgeous, but this is not something I pull for very often. I did have an Instagram picture with this handbag recently. Uh, well, like a month or so ago, this summer. So I felt really good about that because I pushed myself to grab this instead of grabbing something else. I think this is a nice handbag. Like I told y'all, I will definitely pull this more for when I'm going shopping. If I want a bag that has more room and I want to take my camera and things like that, this is going to be a good bag for that scenario. But <laughs> just in regular scenarios, eh, I don't think so. I will say when I look at this bag, what I'm thinking would have made a little bit of a difference is if the bag had a full chain strap. I think that would have gave it less casual and more like dressy. You know what I mean? So let me know if you want to see a video of me styling this bag up, kind of finding different ways to wear this bag. So if you have this bag and maybe you don't know how to always style this, what to wear with it. Let me know if you're interested in seeing a video of me like styling this bag different ways because maybe that's what I need to do is kind of prep and plan a few outfits ahead of time. So that way I'm not feeling like, what am I gonna wear with this, you know? Because I find myself feeling that way and that's probably why I don't grab this bag as much. But I do think it's a great piece. It's gorgeous, it looks good, it looks like brand spanking new. If I had to sell something from my collection, this would probably be the top of my list. But I won't say that I wouldn't miss it because to me, it is a really, really nice piece. But y'all, we have made it through my entire Gucci collection. Um, I don't think I have anything else like lying around that I didn't realize 
that I had. I think I got everything. Y'all, this was a really, really nice video to do. Um, next month, we're going to get into Louis Vuitton. So sometime around my birthday, my birthday is September 22nd, I will probably go ahead and unleash that video. That video is going to take a lot more time because I have a lot more Louis Vuitton than I realized. And um, it's just a lot of stuff to go through. What I like about these collection videos, you guys, most of this stuff I've did a review on or I've talked about it. So what you'll notice, I'm not spending a lot of time giving a ton of detail on these items because if you are curious for more details, I have a ton of different videos that are going to give you that. I will make sure I link like other Gucci videos, like any videos where I have like reviews on some of these items, I will link them down below. So if you're like, well, dang, she didn't share much information and you want to hear more, that's totally fine. But just know nine times out of 10, I've talked about it in another video. So if you need a little more detail, more background, know some pros, some cons, watch one of those videos because you're going to probably find answers to your questions there. I thank you all so much for your support. Please do not forget to like this video. Y'all, the likes matter. Give me a like. If you watch this video, you liked it, I made you laugh, whatever the case may be, like this video. Let me know if you want to see any videos from the items I shared today that you haven't found on my channel already. Let me know. I love having conversations with you all, so comment down below. Be sure to share this video on social media with your friends, your family, coworker, whoever, and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all of your love, your support. You guys are what makes me want to do this and be so consistent about it. So thank you again. I will see you all in my next one.